Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight we're actually going to uh, I'm going to show you how I sheet um, how I sheet the foam wings, and uh, we'll be doing that using Gorilla Glue, which um, is like a super cool process. And you know, and combined with just a little bit of moisture, um, that uh, that glue expands, and when the foam and everything is in its cradle and under pressure, uh, it just really works its way into the uh, uh, into the foam core and uh, into the sheeting. I mean, I did some test samples where I, on when I did the stabs, when I had to cut some of the, uh, some of the section off uh, for doing the ailerons. I mean, for for doing the elevators, and actually the, uh, you know, the bond is like just really really good. So, um, doing a, something a little bit different tonight. Uh, I've never put a camera on my head before, so I'm going to give that a go. And we'll see how uh, how that works out, and hopefully that works really well. And you can actually uh, you can actually see uh, the whole process. It's it was kind of necessary because I need to be uh, as hands free as possible. I've got about 15 minutes, I think, um, to do this process to feel really comfortable about it. Something not setting not setting up. So I just sort of have to once you get started. Uh, it helps to be a little bit organized because. Um, you don't have a lot of time to think. You just have to go. And I actually uh, um, actually created for myself a little a little checklist. So as I'm going along, I just glance down. I glance down at that and make sure that I'm uh, make sure that I'm actually uh, rocking and rolling in the uh, order that I should. And it worked out great on the first core. And at the very end of this video, I'll show a little bit of how the uh, how the first core came out so um yeah and i also want to say you know if you're not uh if you're not a subscriber i invite you to uh, hit the subscribe button um so you can follow along um you know we're going to be i've got another plane uh ready to go right on the heels of this one and uh that's a uh klim l25 that one will be that one will be really cool um no foam in that one that one's all balsa uh built up structure and um it's a I upscaled a little bit to two meter, so that'll be a that'll be a really cool plane. And uh, and then I've got uh, I've got uh, some stuff on the on the back side of that as well. So uh, anyway, but this is the Boxer 60 uh, pattern plane. Uh, as I mentioned in my first video, I'm going to be learning to uh, fly pattern, and uh, you'll be able to follow my progress um, through uh, training on the simulator. Um, going out to the flying field, practicing. Uh, I hope to show you kind of as much of that as I possibly can. So anyway, I'm going to get going here and, uh, and hopefully this one, uh, goes as smoothly as the first one. So, all right, cool. Let's do it. All right. So I've got everything laid out here and, uh, the, uh, the very first thing to do is actually get, get this roller, uh, good and wet with the glue. And I just use kind of a a piece of cutting board material um, to uh, to accomplish that and uh, I'll just put some glue down here I'll get the roller nice and wet and then and then we will we'll put it on the sheeting um, and it takes a takes a couple of applications of uh, putting the glue on here and you'll actually see uh, at first it'll kind of um, it'll look a little dry in some areas but by the time we sort of repeat the same process the second time um, it'll uh, uh you'll see how it's nice and nice and wet and uh and then we got some uh we got some carbon tow over here ready to go um which is going to go um it's some really nice uh really nice carbon tow that's going to go and you can see i've marked out um the spar line right here and so we'll put that on here and uh, make sure that has plenty of glue on it um, and then we will we will go over to uh, the core and uh, I'm just giving you kind of a prelim of where we're headed here. Once we get to the core, I'll put glue on any structure that's here. I'll put glue on the spar line. Um, and then I'll take what's left on the roller and I'll just kind of roll it across the uh, uh, across here and uh, across the aileron area and and just give the uh, the sheet just a just a light coat um, of whatever's left whatever's left in the roller. So once I put the glue on here, then I move this to the side. We'll put the uh, we'll put the bottom 
the bottom shuck. I, I call them shucks. Uh, uh, we'll put that on the on the table, and then we'll put the put this put the sheeting on there, and then put this down, and 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 then just before uh, we do that, um, we'll give this a little mist of water, which I've got ready to go right here, and. And then we move on to the second one, which we'll pick up on the way back here. So, all right, let's, uh, all right, so let's do this. And uh, yeah, once we start, we gotta go. So <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no hanging out and having a cup of coffee while you're doing it. So, um, so I'm just gonna put some glue on here. And I did about, you know, about this kind of a three by five area last time of glue just to get going. And, uh, Yeah, then I'm gonna need uh, need to do that one more time, I think. All right. Maybe the other part of the roller. There, that's sounding better. I'm I just kind of go by how it sounds. It sounds like when I'm rolling, it's leaving a nice coat of a uh, nice coat of glue on there. Um, so, yeah, I feel good about that. Now we'll move over here. And uh, the way I did this um, the last time is I went, I went like this, just a few inches apart. Um, worked my way down the core. And then I did uh, one, two, three, Four. This is real scientific. You can see. Um, I'm just laughing. I'm just joking about that, but it's really not that scientific. Uh, then you just start rolling this out, and you can see that uh, you know by making marks on the underside of the sheeting, you guarantee yourself not getting mixed up and actually putting the uh, uh, glue on the wrong side of the sheet. So. Uh, all right, so we're rolling this out, and uh, you can kind of see in this area, which which you know happened last time as well. It just has a little bit of a dry look in here, as compared to on the glue line where it's a little wetter. Um, but we'll pick that up on the next round. I should probably be wearing my wearing my rubber gloves, but I just didn't feel like it, so um, I didn't get too messy, too messy last time. Although when you get this stuff on you, uh, it can take a while before, uh, <laughs> before you get rid of it. All right, so you can kind of see how that area looks a little dry up there. Um, it, it'll naturally be a little dry down here because we just have so much more area. Um, so we do that one more time and we just give it a good glance over. You can kind of see in this area right here in the light um, that it's a little bit. So we'll run this down the middle and then when we get down here we'll put another. And this is approximately the same thing I did last time. Um, so I'm hoping my weights, I could be measuring this or weighing it probably would be even better. Um, but I'm pretty confident that my, the last time I did this, my, my weights came out really close. So, um, not too worried about that. Now you can hear the, maybe you can hear it. The roller sounds like it's. The whole thing is just sounds wet compared to compared to dry that first time around. Um, and we'll come in here and get this section. Uh oh, that didn't happen before. <laughs> uh, so we'll deal with that here in a second. All right. 
right. We're going to end up putting some tape on that. Glad you got to see that. The, uh, the key here is never panic. Uh, that would be bad if you did. So, um, All right. So real quickly, I'm just going to grab a little piece of uh, painter's tape. This glue will expand and uh, it'll be like that joint never existed. So uh, I'm just going to pick it up real quick. And I'm going to put some tape on here. where it belongs right there okay now we still got a hustle so I'm gonna grab uh, grab the carbon and we'll come over here and get this in place so I'm gonna go from there there you can see I left the backing on this just for this reason and I can press this down and then I've got some special scissors here that are uh, really good for cutting cutting carbon so we'll just cut those off and we'll peel this back here. All right. All right, then we're going to put uh, one, one line of uh, glue on the carbon just to make sure it's wetted out really good. And then we're going to roll that. jump over here and we're going to put uh, we're going to do like I like I said over there we're going to put some put some glue wherever there's structure here um, any wood or anything um, around here And then we're going to go down the spar line. All right. Then we're going to take a roller and kind of roll that in. Now you can see the blind nut area here. I actually took uh, some balsa and I just uh, some like eighth inch balsa and I shoved it down in there um, and that works out really well because then I can just take a uh, take a drill later and actually uh, push that balsa out and I'll show you I've got some locators on the wood for uh, when this is ready to go all right and I just want to make sure that the balsa areas Especially this end grain stuff is just really nice and uh, it's got some some stuff on it. So then I just roll kind of the just kind of roll the whole area with whatever I've got left on this roller 
Um, just kind of clean this off. I know it doesn't look like there's much going on there, but you can really feel it if you uh, if you touch it. All right, now we're gonna set this aside over here, and we're gonna grab the bottom shuck, and we're gonna put that down. We're gonna go back. Grab our sheet and we'll come back over. Now the sheet goes down. The, uh, the core. Gets a mist of water and when I say mist, I'm just misting this. I don't want to saturate it or anything. So it's more like just kind of spraying it in the air and let the atomized water fall on it. All right, then that goes into the core and we have, you see I've made some kind of registration marks um, where everything should line up. So we will return those to where they go. Um, it's going to be there and there. And uh, let's see in the front. And then we'll line up with our uh, with the foam beds, the, the shuck as I call it. And then just while we're working the next one, I'm just going to just drop a couple of weights on here. just for the time being, because we'll be right back. All right, next sheet. Pick that up on the way. And we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna do this again. I learned a learned a lesson that time uh, last time rolling uh, against the grain is not a good idea <laughs> so because <laughs> I mean this is pretty sticky and it's not you know it's not really warm in my basement so it is winter in Michigan and uh, just for sound quality I I had to turn off the uh, turn off the heat for now uh, this process doesn't take very long so I don't know if that's that dry sound. It gets wetter sound up there, but uh, all right. You can kind of see right in here with the light. Kind of see where it gets dry. Um, but this second application, this takes care of it. So, and I'm just a little bit looser with it. maybe all right all right now we're back over here I'm gonna bring this with me this time We'll get these out of the way. This up. And we're going to get some glue on here. Same thing we did before. Uh, we're going to have glue around here. Uh, this time we've got glue. Get a good bead of glue along here. And uh, 
on the aileron box. Spar line. And especially just, you know, get, make sure we get some on the spar itself, which is only on this side, so. And then down the spar line. And then we're good. Roll that out. Okay, now we get that all set and we're all lined up good there and there and there. All right, now we're going to take our whole, our whole deal over here. And we'll put some moisture on there like that and then we're going to grab our sheeting <laughs> I think I just hit a clamp all right we've got some registration marks on the other side so we'll actually flip this whole shebang over put this on so we can make sure this side is registered and it's pretty close pretty close there I need to move this one just a little bit that's good All right, now we get it nice and lined up with our with our beds, our shucks here. And you can see I've got some, uh, I'll start from here. I've got some registration marks um, that help a great deal in getting all of this back into alignment. Um, so I get one side down, just add a little weight. And I come to the other side and we'll check it out um, out there and I'll peek underneath there and it looks like I'm off just a little bit there we go all right that looks really good so we'll double check the end and that looks really good so now I'm going to go get my board, um, actually use a, take a piece of plywood, put that on top of the whole thing, and I'll gently pick this up, try not to let anything move. And then we're going to take one more look. I don't know if you can see any of that or not, but you can see how just picking that up and moving it, just everything shifted just a little bit. But I think now we're really good. So these are my weights. So we'll grab these, we'll plop one right there on the tip, and then uh, we'll get uh, three down here.
I'll just use I'll use all the weight I have so uh, and I've got these uh, steel steel bars here So that whole thing took me about uh, about 25 minutes, and uh, the glue is still is still fine. It's completely workable. Um, I, the, uh, the last time I did this, um, it was it was probably a little bit warmer, so I felt like I didn't have quite as much time uh, as I had right now. Um, but anyway, um, so this time I'm not going to forget to put the cap on my glue. Um, and <laughs> I, I actually forgot last time, which wasn't a good thing. Um, but, uh, I'll get the other wing up here and I'll actually show you, you know, how it all comes out. So, uh, all right, let me switch this back around. Okay. So this is, uh, this is how it all comes out. Um, you can actually see, uh, uh, the, uh, I've sanded the ends. Um, I've got the, uh, the trailing edge. Uh, and the leading edge sanded uh, using my long uh, my long T bar here, and those are now those are now ready for uh, for the balsa material that will make up the leading edge and the trailing edge. Um, you can see that I've I've routed out uh, for my retracts. Um, everything fits really nice, and when cutting the uh, uh, cutting this. Uh, hole out. I just take my time. I remove a little bit. Of, I start in the middle. I remove a little bit of material at a time until I get close to the edge, and then I actually use a uh, I use a tube um, with some sandpaper on it. It's just a piece of a, a aluminum tube. Uh, here it is, um, and it's actually kind of a piece of. Uh, sandpaper that's a little bit worn out which I like because I can't cut too fast with it so um, I just gently work that around the edge um, until I'm really happy with that and I don't know if you can see uh, right down inside there um, but if you can you can actually see on that bottom seam where the uh, where the urethane glue is actually expanded and there's just a little bit of uh, squeeze out all the way around and you can you can see it down in the wheel well here you can see it down in the um, uh, aileron servo bay and that gives you a great deal of confidence um, that you've got a good bond when you see just that little bead of a uh, little bead of squeeze out and when you look at the uh, look at the end it's kind of hard when I put my little magnifiers on you can actually kind of see a thin layer of urethane in between the uh, in between the foam and the and the balsa. So yeah, so this one uh, I'll get the other one to the same state. And oh, while I'm at it, maybe I should show you um, actually how I do this. I made I actually made my own uh, my own router uh, jig for uh, for my Dremel and these. Uh, these pieces here that fit the uh, fit the Dremel um, actually you can you can buy this piece and I just uh, you know drill the hole epoxied it in there um, and then uh, you just make this uh, top block a couple bottom rails a piece of a, I think I've got PETG here because it's it's like coke bottle material it won't it won't break um, and I epoxied that uh, to these two rails just clamped them on there and then uh, and then I Before I put the plastic on I drilled these at the same time I just clamped them together and drilled them and and it works out really great because you just uh, you just undo the wing nuts and you can uh, you can position this uh, just wherever you want and And once you get it exactly to the depth you want um, 
we just take the bottom jam nuts and move them up until they stop turning or wherever you want them to stop turning and then you just tighten up your wing nuts and you're there your dremel screws in and uh, you can see i raised it but i had the depth set perfectly uh, to match here and then uh, it's just real easy to see around it as you're routing um, and just route that out with a nice uh, kind of square uh, square bit on the end there. This is a Dremel bit. Um, I have a production tool place that's not too far from me where I can actually get some really nice uh, really nice bits but this one this one works great. Yeah so that's what uh, that's what sheeting the uh, sheeting the wing is like and you know, I, I probably had more time than I uh, um, than I than I took there. I mean, I, I probably could have uh, if I went over and checked the glue right now. It's probably still fine. So more than likely, I had another ten minutes or so, or, or maybe even more since it's cool. When it's warm, you don't have that kind of time, so you really do have to have to hustle. They say on the bottle, I think that the working time is about fifteen minutes, um, but uh, I think it. There's not a lot of moisture in the air right now either, so it's uh, in, in winter time. It's really dry in Michigan. Um, if you have a high humidity area, um, you know you may even find that you have to sheet, um, you know, one side uh, of your wing at a time if you want to work a little bit slower or whatever. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope uh, I hope this was helpful, and uh, maybe you picked up a couple tips along the way. And um, like and share and uh, subscribe and all that good stuff. And as always, I will, uh, I'll catch you later.